first of all, there's the steel, 2260. That's coming out. There's a chimney breast down there. Right, that literally took minutes. I'm not joking. That's weird. Job done. Right, if you're watching this, then I've got permission to film. I haven't actually asked just yet. So, I'll be asking in a minute. We're actually on um, a steel's job today in a bathroom, separate bathroom and toilet. And we're knocking the bathroom in, into one, one room. It's at the back of the bungalow. And we're gonna work around the side. So I'll just take you around and show you what we're doing. First of all, there's the steel. 2260. Nice um, nice handleable size. And um, that's for the pad stones. There's one pad stone, there's that's for the other pad stone. Uh, brought acros, Vic's brought his acros and his strong boys. And yeah, we're all geared up. Alex is um, currently halfway through his Sweden trip, so I'm missing him a bit. But um it's a bit of a rush job, so Vic's agreed to come and help me with this one. So it's just me and Vic on this one. The uh, Crap's going in Vic's van, which is there. This is our way round. Oh, came in a bit late because the customer wanted to start a bit later. So, this is the entry toilet, bathroom. So, that's the wall. There, that's coming out. There's a chimney breast down there, and then there's this wall steps back here. Right, Vic's just getting the glass out so we can put the, just chuck the stuff out the window so we're not traipsing through the house or anything. We can take everything round, which is much more efficient and better for the customer. So, um, yeah, I'm hobbling along, just getting organised, then we can get stuck into it. We're going to put the acros on the inside. But um, anyway, I'll stop walking out here and take you inside and show you. And as I say, if you're watching this, I've had permission. <laughs> Okay, it's five past eleven. Well, like I say, we did only start at half nine. Um, there we go so far. We've come covered this funny looking window, which has been opened up and bricked up again. Here's the old lead cable to a wooden back box. Proper old stuff out, look at that. Wooden back box. <coughs> yeah. You see where the brickwork's dropped, that's a piece of 3b2 there, where they've, looks like they've, this door's been opened up. So um, that's a bit crumbly, so we're doing them a favour, putting the steel in there. We're just going to get the acros up, as high as possible, try and get three in. One there, one there, one there. Might be a bit tight with the sink. But, um, this is a bit sad. We've got all the stud to work out. With the trusty saws on. And we've been working on the tiles. So as you can see it's a lot higher on this side. So the um, all the heights are going by the bathroom side. Um, 
A lot of pipes here, hoping they're dead. A lot of pipes there that are still alive, so we've got to be careful dropping stuff on the floor. So at the moment, we're getting um, getting a lot of this crap cleared out, so we've got a bit of room to work, and then crack on again. Once I've got all this down, I can start getting the acros and strong boys set up on this side. Well, I want to get all this stripped off first. Not much to go. So we're getting there. Lucky for me, Vic's doing all the walking up and down. There's another fine example of crappy lintel. Piece of 3b2 on three bits of wood. I don't know what's above that. I think it might be a wall with the purling on top. So it's not like it's a... It's just a, a nothing wall. It's holding stuff up. So yeah, we're in. Our steel is going to go into that wall. Flush back to that and then into that wall. That's the chimney breast. So yeah. That's where we're up to. Have a tidy up and then crack on. Right, it's, uh, it's dusty now. That's what we're up to. Bit of plastic on the table. That can come off as the wall comes down. I don't think we're going to stitch drill. I think we're just going to chop them with the balls as we go down because it's very, very wobbly this wall. As you can see why there. That's it. Half a brick and a bit of timber is holding this wall up. And even that, this is all dropped. You see the crack up there. So there's my pockets for my acros. I'm going to knock that brick out there. That one there. And we can get one there, one there, one there. And then we can, after dinner when Vic's took all the stuff to the skip, we've got a load of fresh buckets and we can drop all this. And the props go in this side, so the steel can go in this side. We just might have to thread it behind this plastic pipe.
today after lunch update that's all the crap gone <clears throat> well for now that's a, <laughs> that's a van load a lot of bucket balls so this is the chimney breast that's why it's so big you see it goes there so we're working up to that and then we're working up to that wall so basically it's from there to there I think that's 1.8 slightly bigger so I've got the steel 2260 which gives us 200 plus each side because that's going to be bang on that's that's a bit ropey that side so well, I'll have a bit extra just brought an acro with me strong boys have passed through the window Vic's just gone to get rid of all the crap that thing absolutely brilliant as usual brilliant piece of kit that straight through all that stuff that was there and then I've got first acro around so I'm going to get that put up now two pockets knocked out and then I get next acro in once that's in I knock this last brick out which is that one in the corner uh, that one the, the full brick then I can prop the piece and the full brick we're probably going to lose this one here because it looks quite loose I might even put um, just put an acro without a strong boy just underneath that stop it dropping and then the steel's going to fit underneath all that so the steel's going to be two courses down it's going to be here basically which is still going to be a good 150 160 above where the old door was so it's going to be more head height and then this side it's going to look a lot lower because this ceiling's a lot higher so they can either lower the ceiling to level it through or leave it as it is but yeah two, two different ceiling heights in the front room shape so let's get this propped up get it safe and then start knocking it down Thank you. 
that literally took minutes I'm not joking okay. Once the plaster's off, you just lift up. Crumbling. So, be careful that break there, I think. Might just pop that out. But yeah. Shouldn't have this down. And then pass them through the windows to Vic. Get it all cleared up. And then take the pads out with the steel and the pads down. Happy days. down's done. There's our pocket. There's our other pocket. We had two bricks drop, three bricks drop, which isn't surprising. And then we're going to get this cracking. I just got to get a mix in. And then once I'm patching all this, I've got the steel in. It can be getting the tidying up done. So it's quarter to four now. So it should really be quarter past four. But we did start about an hour and a half late. Who's just arrived? You know, get rid of a bit of this dust. So we're in. I'm going to head out now, get the mix in, and get ready to whack in this in. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, for this. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, pass on there, just spin that round a bit. And the other one's there. Until the one's worth it, the other one's just there by the brush. So you grab that. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, see you there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. Right, if, I go, if I go back with it. Are you okay there? Yeah. Hang on. And now I'm not going to get over to my legs. Yeah, you know, and I'll uh, grab all this side and yeah. bring it through. Do you come back to me, pass the pipe? Just to. Uh, right, let's see it again. Go down and you go up. I'll go up. Pass that pipe. Yeah. Right. Oh. You know, yeah. Yep. Beautiful. 
which is 142 now. Right. Very, very tight. It's, it's, it's what? Very tight. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking? Uh, Blue cement on top and... Yeah, that's usually what I do. Yeah. So you're going to be a little blobby in a bit, a bit there, innit? And, and, just, and then out. afterwards you go back fill in. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, can you just pass me on the pad scans up? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. The eye to the bad stones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Just stick it on top. Just pass us both up. Put yours on there, see if it slides underneath the app, this strong boy. If it does, we can lift it underneath. Yeah, so we're alright there, you can put that on the wall. Right, so. Let's try mine. Right, go on. Mine's a bit tighter than that. That's alright. Right, so everything, everything fits. It's just there, taking up a lot of room. See that? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty they're thick. They're tight to bed, not yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll sort it. So what we've got to do now is get 
get them all done. Of our two, put that in the middle, and if you go side first, yeah. one side and then the other side. Yeah. Right. The three, one, two, three. Right, so it's tight. That's it, down again. Yeah. I'm really, really lifting the axle a little bit there. Oh, hang on. Give a bit of cover on top first. All right, yeah. We're not going to go in, are we? Clean. Am I right there? You take it back. Oh, no, right. Down. Do you want me to go in and pass it through? Yes, please, yeah. Thank you. Right. I'm going to jump past it through. Have you got your... Uh, Trowel? Your trowels are yeah. soft. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thick stuff's crap, innit? What? Thick stuff's crap.
Job done. Everything's solid, all pointed up, packed up with slate, all nicely opened up. Obviously all the pipes got removed now. Floor to be redone, whole bathroom's getting redone. New ceiling in this half. This half, so everything is level. But yeah, looking good. Just give the bath a quick rinse. So we're out of here. So I'm going to hand it over to Alex, back at the house, for one of our pre-recorded outros. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you for the next one.